Today, Memphis police spoke about the uh, problem to council committee about missing persons and runaway cases that are happening in Memphis. And this comes after a WREG report. Our Shea author has more on what they discussed and brings us the latest stats from this year. Face after face, picture after picture. It seems like every day we see images of people missing in Memphis. In a presentation today, Memphis police told council members more than 600,000 people are reported missing in the U.S. every year. This year, 938 people were reported missing. 885 people returned, 53 people still missing. These are active cases that we're still pursuing. Uh, in one capacity or another. More than 900 adults and 1,600 juveniles have been reported missing this year in our community right here in the Bluff City. And Joe, while many of them have returned home safely, the Memphis Police Department says their efforts to locate them goes beyond city limits. Action News 5's Sydney Hawkins takes a look at the efforts underway to find those who reported missing. In a presentation to the Memphis City Council Tuesday, Memphis police laid out their tools used to find missing Bluff City residents. Uh, we'd like to have at least three photos of that individual. Certain criteria is needed for City Watch alerts, including a physical description, the car they may be driving, along with any identifiable features of that missing person. The more information you can provide to us about, you know, what happened, then that gives us a better idea in terms of, um, you know, locating that individual. MPD says there have been more than 900 adults reported missing just this year. Most of those adults have returned home safely, while 53 remain missing as of Tuesday. The rate of runaways in the Memphis area is much higher, with more than 1,600 reported this year and more than 1,500 returning. Roughly 70 children ages 17 and younger still have not been located, including 15-year-old Michaela Pendergrass, who was first reported missing Tuesday. Well, we see a large influx because some, you know, we're around the holiday season, some children don't have the best home lives. Tamela Story works for the International Coalition Against Child Sex Trafficking. She says despite the large number of children that return home, those that are missing are still endangered. In my line of work, within 72 hours, they're approached by a trafficker, you know, and they coerce them into the lifestyle. And then once they're in the lifestyle, it's very, very difficult um, to find those children. It's very, very difficult for us to uh, help and to bring them out of that lifestyle. And three teenage sisters in Memphis are missing this morning after leaving their home on Monday. And you know, we've been noticing a trend of missing teens here in Memphis. We're trying to take a closer look at the numbers. Memphis police have tweeted 17 children that have gone missing this December. Hmm. And Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre joins us live from downtown Memphis with, with more. It's only what, the 8th of December and all those kids missing? Yeah, and the latest three, you just talked about those sisters, uh, Calvary Miller, Kamaya Miller, and Naraya Miller, ages 14 through 17. They are the latest of the uh, group of children added to this list. Now, the details in this uh, from Memphis police basically say uh, these sisters left home without permission, and that's the case for a majority. Matter of fact, all of the cases that Memphis police have put out so far these 17 children